Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today is day two of Dye Mine Ink Vent. So, getting started. Looks like this is going to be a red. Or maybe a pink. Cashmere Rose. Oh, this is a standard ink. So maybe a red, maybe a pink. I have my onion skin paper and my Tomoe River paper. Day one was that Fortune's Gold. This is a really pretty ink. So cashmere rose, it looks like it's going to be a little pinky, and it says standard, so it shouldn't be a shimmer. Maybe like a dusky pink color. for just a little bit more. Oh, that looks like a lot more. Go. Alright, while those are drying, I will grab a fountain pen. Today is going to be a Kilk Camera Laterna. Set all the pieces here. And so there are a couple different ways to fill this. I could put the nib on, try to get it in that tiny bottle and fill it. I can just stick just the cartridge in or I can syringe fill. And since I already have the syringe saturated, I'm gonna go ahead with this method. This is going to be a medium nib. So cashmere rose, set that off to the side. It's kind of pinky, kind of reddish. All right, we have, well, I have to let the ink run down. simply because I want to speed this along a little bit. 
adjust that to let some more ink run down. Not something I usually do. I usually just let the ink run, but some feeds take a little longer to saturate. And there we go. Diamine Ink Vent 2023. And this is Cashmere Rose. And this fountain pen, this is a medium steel nib. I really love this pen. Very comfortable. I wasn't sure when I bought it, since it, it's a little on the stout side. I wasn't sure it was going to be that comfortable for me to use. It's very comfy. I love this pen. So this is a very subtle color. Flows very nicely. Cashmere Rose. Oh, and this is day two. Can't forget that. Alright, so I'm very pleased with the way that ink writes. It flows very nicely. Uh, I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and come back to it so we can see the spatters, so we can see just how much depth this ink can have. It looks very tonal, very light. I'm not sure it's going to be the best for showing up for daily writing, but it would be really pretty for special like little notes, note card writing. Uh, and getting in some shading if you're more on the artistic side. So I'm going to leave this for a few minutes. So as this is drying, I ran around my house real quick to see if I could find any comparable colors. And surprisingly, I really don't have that much to kind of compare this color to. I actually had some on my finger, so that made it really easy to kind of look around and see if I could find a comparable color. So it might be pretty safe to say that this color might be on the unique side, something a little bit more difficult to find. It reminds me of a colonial Williamsburg color or maybe even getting into late Victorian era. Lots of, you know, pink velvets, that really deep, pretty, pretty pink. But that's kind of what we're looking at here. Looking at like pink depression glass, this is a lot lighter pink maybe even a little orangey in comparison. But very neat to see what colors kind of contrast and actually go with different inks. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Ink looks nice and dry. I'm actually seeing a little bit of shimmer may have been left over in my fountain pen. Yeah, because this is a standard ink, I'm pretty sure there's no sh actual shimmer in this ink. So that was the onion skin paper. The Tomo Bay River. This is a very romantic color. Really nice. Tonal, rosy pink. 
looking at the back. That's very pretty, and if you want to add a little shimmer to it, makes it a little extra special. So that is day two of the Diamine Ink Vent Calendar. Cashmere Rose, very well named. A very pretty, romantic, tonal, Christmassy, rosy color. Thank you so much for watching.